Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's a Poodle Mom again with the Tea Type Poodles. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite product when it comes to anti-tick and flea. And it is called Cedar Side. Let's dive into it. So Cedar Side is an all-natural anti-tick and flea spray for animals as well as humans. I learned about Cedar Side almost two years ago prior to the pandemic when the previous product that I was using was no longer as effective as it used to be. If you have been using Cedar Side, Comment down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it because so far in the last two years, it has proven really, really effective. So they have two kinds. One is the Cedarside original formulation for anti-tick and flea and the other one is Tick Shield. Now I have tried both. Personally, Tick Shield works way better than the original. Why? Because the original has only 10% cedar wood oil, whereas this one has 20% more. But there is a precaution. Tick Shield is not actually recommended for small pets. It's only recommended for pets 20 pounds and above. It's even recommended for horses. So big dogs and horses are maybe bigger animals. Skip this part if you're sensitive to graphic video. So this is how effective it is. This is a tick that I found crawling. I made sure not to drown it. So that was just one spray. Notice what happens. Dying in just a few seconds, literally. It doesn't resurrect either, unlike the other product that I have been using for the last four years. It's really up to you which one you would choose, but personally, this proved to be more effective, not to mention I get to save more because I use it sparingly. I know you guys may have heard that oils can be both good and bad for pets depending on the amount of it and stuff. So this one, since it has more cedar wood oil, it may cause some irritation to some dogs. I'm not saying it would, but it can. I think that's why they were sharing that precaution. But so far since I have been using it on my girls, they haven't really had any major reaction from it except for when I use it too much. What is too much? Too much is maybe like literally spraying all over them like how you would any other natural tick and flea spray. With Cedar Sides Tick Shield, in my opinion for my girls, I only spray it once and then I rub it off all over their body. That's more than enough to make it effective. But if you are a little apprehensive because of that caution, then just go with the original one. It also works well, but you use it a lot more than this. So this is pretty much how I use it. So instead of spraying it on them to protect them, I spray it on my hand. See how it's not very oily? And then I just rub it off all over their body. And their butt. Most especially their paws. And that's it. See how it's not oily? That's what I love about it, and it doesn't cause like some sort of oily residue on my dogs, which is great. And that's it. I don't even apply it every day. I apply it every three to four days. That's what's recommended, or as needed. Now let's talk about a little bit of the smell. For people who are not big fans of the smell of wood or trees, I wouldn't recommend getting this because it has a really, really strong wood smell. But please don't worry, it doesn't last very long. I mean the scent, not the efficacy. Maybe it'll last for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, and then after that you won't really notice the smell, and it doesn't really stick to your dogs. But the efficacy is still there. It still wards off the ticks and fleas nonetheless. I'm only sharing this because, as you all know, Bailey was diagnosed with anaplasma recently and just because you use all natural products and somebody says that it's very effective and stuff like that doesn't guarantee 100% that they will never ever get it. But what happens is you lower the chances of them getting it. But I know you guys are going to question me, how did Bailey get the blood parasite if she hasn't had ticks and fleas? So recently we also went to my grandmother's house and... <laughs> I forgot to bring the tick and flea spray, which may or may not have been the reason why she got bitten by a tick. That The thing is, I'm not even sure if that's where she got it, but yes, Bailey was diagnosed with a blood parasite gotten from a tick bite, which is called anaplasma. So there are three blood parasites that they can get. It could be Ehrlichia, 
anaplasma, and the third one I do not know how to pronounce, so I will project it here on screen. Those three can cause a lot of problems for your dogs from mild to very, very severe symptoms and can even cause mortality in some pets. So overall, I highly recommend this product to anyone, to any pet owner. If you can afford it, by all means, try it. There are so many all-natural products in the market that it's so hard to choose from. Believe me when I say I've tried a lot. And while some do offer some efficacy to a certain extent, nothing has been as effective as the Tick Shield for me so far. And this is with no bias because I am in no way sponsored, no, nor am I an affiliate of this. It really just works. Where to buy it? You can buy it directly from Cedarside's website. I will post links in the description box below because I think they're on sale this week because I recently also purchased their cedar wood granules which I hope to replace my mom's usage of the tick shield for her kitchen because I've been hiding this and she has been very sneaky because I don't know how she finds it to use all over the kitchen because she says it's very effective in preventing cockroaches. And so yeah, I use other products like I mentioned and I have a couple more videos where I shared which ones they are and we hope to see you there.